Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will look at the View Child Decorator. This time, I will be using a child component. As you can see, we have two boxes. The box on the left, this is our parent component. On the right, this is our child component. We're learning about View Child. Inside of the child component, we have a variable and we have a function that's going to get the color of this uh, control right here. That control will be called by this button, and whatever color this is set to will be the background color of this. Let's do this. Ready? I'm going to pick any color in here. Now, when I click this Get Color, it's going to come get this color and paint the background. And that is what this View Child can do for us. Let's open up a new terminal, type in the command ng g i i lesson. When that file is created, let's add the property selected color as data type is string. And that is the interface that we will use. Let's open up a new terminal. Let's type in the command ng g c color dash picker dash dash skip dash test. Here is the source code for colorpicker.component.html. Notice 12 lines of code. Starts with an H1 color picker form. Then we have a label. And then we have our input type as color. Notice we have two way binding line 10 to the object learn model and then a property on learn model called selected color. Press pause now, get all that typed in. Here is the source code for the color picker component. All 20 lines of TypeScript code. On line 2, import the interface iLesson. On line 11, declare a local variable called default color as type string. Let's initialize it with an RGB color for the color picker component. On line 13, let's create an object of type iLesson. Let's add one property called selected color. Notice it will get the value from line 11, this dot default color. On line 17, this is a function that we will expose from this child component. This function will be used when the parent component creates a view child decorator to this component. The view child decorator then has access to this function as well as the default color variable. And this wraps up the child component. 16 lines of HTML make up the parent. Now notice it starts on line 1 and I'm using Bootstrap CSS. Line 5, we're using a template reference variable. I'll be using that in my view child. That is my parent. My child component assigned on line 12 is app color picker. And there you have the 16 lines of HTML that make up the parent component. So you understand color picker. Color picker, we're calling the child. App component TS, we're calling the parent. So let's continue. So we have two import statements. Notice component view child, after view init, and element ref. They all come from core. Then this is the component we just talked about, color picker component. Now when we're in our class, we're going to implement after view init. And then we're going to use two view child commands. Now our first one, we're going to actually look at the color picker. Here's my variable I'm going to declare. And then this is its data type. Its data type is the object color picker component. Now the second one, div parent. Remember earlier, I told you to remember that template reference variable on the top of the HTML. Well, that's that div control. And here I'm calling it underscore div1, and it is of type element ref. We use it up here. Now, get color. So there's a button on this form, and it's going to call the method get color. And I'm going to say RGB value equals, well, where am I going to get that value? Well, I'm going to go over to the color picker component, and there was a method in there called get color value. This one right here color picker component dot get color value. So I'm going to execute that. I'm going to put that in RGB value. Now on this local one, I'm going to say element equals div one 
that native element. So I'm going to get that div. And then I'm going to say like div.style.backgroundcolor equals that RGB value. I got that from get color. Now on init, well, what happens is when I implement this, implements after init, then we get the ability to hook into these life cycle events. ng after view init is one of those life cycles. We want to go over to that child component, CP, color picker component, and get that default value. Remember, this is just a variable. So not only can I call a view child on a function, but I can also call it on a variable. I'm going to put that in default color. And then I'm going to go back to that div1, and that's element. And look what I do. Element.style, that's kind of like our div, background color equals default color. So on init, you know, like as our form is coming up, going through the steps, I'm going to get the default color just from my, a variable. And that variable is going to be assigned to the background color. Here we go. We are in debug mode. I have my parent. I have my child components. In my parent, I have a button. And on its code behind, get color, I'm going to break point on line 18. Now in my child component, I'm actually going to call get color value. I'm going to call that from my parent. Notice here on line 18, I'm going to call that. That is what we're going to demonstrate here. So come to my child component. Let's change colors. Let's come get this color. Click off. Then notice when I click this color, I'm going to come over here, get that color, and then set the background color. Let's do it. Ready? Step F10. I'm over here in my child component, F10. I'm back, set it, and I'm done. And that's the way it works. And there you have it, team, the view child, using a child component. We were able to get the value from the child component using a function, as well as using a value. That's a wrap. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. If you learned a thing or two, a thumbs up would be nice. And until next time, take care.